In today's video, I'm going to be taking pictures with an old digital camera. The camera in question is a 2008 Sony Cybershot DSC W125. The title of this video says trying to take pictures because I am trying to take more pictures and become better at photography because I've never really classed myself as a photographer, although I take so many pictures. And I think just trying to take pictures of normal, mundane situations, like today I'm just out for a walk, I took the camera to a garden centre here in England, and tried to just flex my photography muscle, well, in my finger, and my photography eye. So I hope you enjoy the video, I hope you enjoy the pictures and the camera. Let's get into it. The past few days have been really leisurely, my mum just got a new car, so we've been going to different places in it. Just taking it easy, obviously getting used to the new car. And I thought it would be nice to take a camera along with me to see what I can capture in these moments. There's nothing quite as relaxing as going to a garden centre in Britain. Pretty sure it's like this everywhere else in the world. But there was slight drizzle and sunshine on this day, so it just felt even cosier being inside looking at all the flowers and stuff. And I thought it'd be a great opportunity to take a camera and see what pictures I can get from my perspective. So the reason behind making this specific video today, obviously I try and make a video every week and use the cameras, but it was just to see if I could take a camera out, as I did to the garden centre, and see if I could capture anything that I liked. And to be honest, I liked every single picture I took. It felt very sentimental and familiar to me. And I wonder if showing these sort of images to people out there, how it feels to you. So I'd love to know what you think of the pictures and what you think of photography in general because I've never classed myself as a photographer but the more and more pictures I take the more and more I feel like I need to become better at what I do or maybe I don't. I just want to know your thoughts on the whole photographer and camera scenario so that would be interesting and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. The next part of the video consists of a few photos from a walk I took on the second day out of this camera. I've been trying to make the most of the nice weather and it's one of the things I love about these cameras is you can just pop it in your pocket, take it out and experience something as simple as a walk but taking the beauty of it by taking pictures of things that catch your eye. Now I made a bit of a rookie mistake. On the back of these cameras they have a mode dial where you can switch it from the different modes and whenever you get it in and out of your pocket you've got to make sure you haven't changed the mode because I accidentally took a few pictures in night mode and they actually made the sky look a bit like more of a deeper blue quite interesting but not very natural looking so I'll show you them now they still make for a cool picture maybe I could experiment in the future with this mode but for now I'll just show you these pictures <laughs>
I really enjoyed the past few days I've spent with this camera. I've said it in previous videos, if you are a subscriber of the channel, you'll know that I'm a fan of Sony Cybershots because they're so reliable and they just get the job done. I haven't used a 2008 camera in a while actually. I've been using 2004 cameras a lot. There's no reason why in particular, it's just the ones that I've been getting my hands on. But this 2008 one is really snappy, it's quick. I'd say if you are in the market for a digital camera and you're not sure which one to go for, this is probably your full focus of the camera world. It's reliable, you know what it is, gets the job done. I'll just go over some quick specs here for anybody that is interested in picking up this camera. I would definitely recommend it. So it has 7.2 megapixels and it has a Super HAD CCD sensor. The main difference is that the Super HAD CCD allows more light to enter the photo sensor than a typical CCD. A few of these Sony Cyber Shots utilize this specific sensor. And I must say, I do like all of the images that come from this camera. I shoot in automatic mode for anybody that is wondering, because this way you can see how the camera just works out of the package. It has a few fun modes on the mode wheel. It also shoots in video. I showed one short clip from this camera today because it was more about the pictures for me in this video. But the video from the camera, the footage from the camera does look really old school and nostalgic. Would probably look pretty cool at a party or a concert or something. The menus are really nice and easy to navigate on these Sonys and there is loads of different settings that you can change and customise to your personal preference. Now, at the time of recording this video, I have actually listed this camera on eBay as an auction. So apologies if you're watching this in the future and it's gone. But I'd just like to take this moment to let you know that I do sell most of my cameras. Because I'm making these videos and content around them, I just have loads of cameras at any given moment. So I think it's nice to not hide them away, but to let people also enjoy them and discover how fun and nostalgic these cameras are to shoot with. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I've really enjoyed using this camera. If you liked it or liked the pictures, please let me know below. Or if you didn't like it, let me know. Because I'd like to make more of these videos. And the more I make, hopefully the better they can get through repetitions of uploading. So if you do enjoy the content and the channel, a subscribe would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.